hello everyone I have a Dooney and Burke unboxing and I'm not gonna get too much into it I just kind of wanted to show you what I got this is actually from I love Dooney there was a good um, a pretty good $99 sale a couple weeks ago and I got this I am really excited about it so let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing I went ahead and opened it but I haven't even peeked in so Here. I'm actually really excited about this bag because I have another one that I haven't actually had for a long time because my sister and my daughter have had it and I really do like the style and I love this color. Do you know what it is while looking at it? This is the Dooney Burke Darby satchel looks like there's a little indent right here, but I think that'll come out when you put stuff in there So let me go ahead and take the stuff off of the handles All right, so let me show you the tag there What I really liked about this is the color. I don't have anything except for that little black on black Dooney coin pouch that I unboxed a couple of videos ago several videos ago and that's the only black on black that I have and I was really wanting a bag that was the same color combo. Of course they do have like black and then the leather is the the brown that's like normally on their their bags. So I was really excited that this one was in the $99 sale. It has the two top handles. It does have feet, which is nice. It is the pebble leather which is nice. And let me go ahead and open it. There is a crossbody strap or shoulder strap. So there's the crossbody strap. Of course, there's the key keeper. There is the dust bag. And then on the inside, it is the regular red color that Dooney has on most of their bags. And this is what it looks like. What I really like about this bag is that it's really, really roomy. It's a roomy bag. You can fit a ton of stuff in this bag and like I said it has been a really long time since I've actually used mine the one that I have is like in a pink color it's a light pink and it's not pebbled leather it might be Saffiano but I feel like it's not Saffiano but it's not Florentine so I don't know what leather it is but it's really cute it's held up really nicely and this is just a really good everyday bag so let me give you the dimensions of this bag really quickly so the measurements are 11 and a half inches this way so kind of in length I guess uh, 9.25 inches in height this way and then 5.75 inches in width or diameter there is a three and a half inch little handle drop here and then the crossbody strap goes from 22 to 26 inches so that's a really good range that you can really do a lot with as far as crossbody shoulder whatever you wanted to do and it weighs one pound and two ounces so the crossbody strap is one of those that Dooney does quite a bit they have the two uh, fasteners here so you can take out the middle portion and fasten it together and then it becomes Kind of like that right so all this portion is gone and it becomes a shoulder bag the only thing that i don't like about these straps is so this is the way it goes right so the bag is down here uh, it has this part that's laying up and sometimes it tends to flop after a while so i don't really like that but you know it doesn't have to be worn that way all the time one thing that you could do if it you know if you don't like this is go ahead and remove it so re remove that middle portion and just keep it stored in your bag and use it as more of a shoulder bag with the the smaller parts there and then if you get in a position where you need a crossbody bag then you can just uh, buckle it back in and then you're good to go so um, it really does work out though for a variety of different ways to carry it which you know you know I like that I didn't mention here D-rings are on either side. I think I've mentioned that before. I don't really like it when the D-rings are, or when the um, attachment for your strap are on opposite sides of the bag. I don't like that for some reason. I don't know why. I do have bags that do that, um, that I kind of live with, but I don't love it. 
It's beautifully made, of course, as so always. That is my unboxing of the Dooney and Burke Darby Satchel. Super cute bag. If you want to see what fits in it, then let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up, and I will know that you want to see that. I hope you have a great day. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.